Hello, and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today, we are so excited to be introducing our die, Tiny Gift Box Dog Add-on. What this die does is it turns our tiny gift box into an adorable little dog. This tiny gift box has a ton of add-ons with a ton of cute critters, and we are so excited to add this adorable little dog to the mix. There are a ton of pieces that come in this die set so that you can customize this dog. So of course we have the dog face. This piece is a little backer for behind the eyes and nose. We have a little spot and some legs for the side of the box. We have some more little different styles of spots and a snout. Also some ear coverings, a little belly, two different kinds of tail, and a collar. We also have some fun accessories like the little dog bone, tennis ball, a little bow, and also some rosy cheeks. This die set also has these cute little paws that you can die cut from the front of the dog's face and it's going to give you these little paws that you can tuck things into. So here you'll be able to see what that looks like. How cute is that? And these little paws can kind of pop out and you could tuck in a little heart or the tennis ball or the bone. Our first step is going to be to die cut the tiny gift box and we're going to die cut that from some vanilla malt cardstock. And this die creates all of these awesome score lines for you. So we're going to fold along all of those score lines. One of the things that I love about the tiny gift box is it's really great for little candies and treats. So little chocolate kisses or hard candies, but I also really love to use it to hold gift certificates. I buy a lot of online gift certificates. I don't know if you guys are like that too, where you kind of print them out on your computer. And so to make it special, what I do is I roll it up and I stick it inside of a tiny gift box and then I decorate it with one of the critters. And we have a ton of critter options. And I am so glad that I have a dog now too, because I have a lot of friends that are dog lovers. So we folded along all of those score lines and now we're going to take some quarter inch tape and we're going to put it on those four tabs on the tiny gift box. Then we can go ahead and peel up all of those liner pieces and we're going to be able to form the box. And forming this box is super, super easy because all you do is just line up those edges. So you kind of fold them up together, make that nice right angle and you just move your way all the way around the box. Once our box is all formed, we can set that aside and start to work on the face of the dog. So we're gonna take this little piece here and then that little black rectangle that we cut. And what you'll do is just put some tape runner on the back of the dog's face and then you can just layer that piece right over and that's gonna add the color to the eyes, nose, and mouth. Now there's lots of different styles of spots here. This is one of the larger spots and you could do both of the large spots kind of like this, but we're going to do a little mix and match. We're going to use the smaller spot with the large spot and I think that's a really, really cute combo. Now you can leave the ears plain like this or you can layer these little pieces over top and I think this looks really, really cute. And here we have a combination of a bunch of shades of brown. So we have some chocolate bar, craft, and vanilla malt cardstock. Next, we're going to add the collar to this pup, and we're going to be doing three different styles of dogs for this. And for the little collar, for the kind of the little tag, we cut that out of some gold foil metallic cardstock, and I think that looks so cool. It will look really nice out of the silver, too. Now he's looking super cute, but we're gonna show you some other things that you could layer on top. You can of course add these adorable little rosy cheeks. You can also add the little bow, which could be a bow tie or kind of like a little hair bow. And there's also this cute little snout covering that you can add as well. But this little pup is looking super cute as is. So we're gonna take our tiny gift box and we're going to add some tape runner to the front of the box and we're gonna layer that cute little dog face right on top. And then we're gonna add the little legs to the side of the box. And this is what really just makes it so adorable. And so we'll add some tape runner on the back of those and we die cut those out of some craft cardstock, which was the same as the spot. So it's kind of fun how we're tying in the different colors. Like he might have the craft colored spots on his face and on his legs and so we're gonna layer those on just like that and then we're going to add a tail and there's two different styles of tail and so we're just going to look at both of those and see what's going to look cutest with this pup design that we did and so we're going to add the fluffy tail to this guy so we're going to add some tape runner and then you're just going to add it right at the box right where you open the box and what's cool is you can actually just pull the tail to open the box which is really fun so now that we've made one dog we're going to go ahead and make another style of dog and we're gonna start off with the same steps of using the tiny gift box. We're gonna die cut it from some craft cardstock this time and fold along all of those score lines. We'll add our adhesive and build the box. And we're gonna be building three different styles of dogs on boxes. And then Shari is gonna show you how to use this die without the box, which is super, super cool too at the end of the video. So I hope you guys love that as well. So here you can see we're peeling up that liner paper and then we're just gonna line up all of those edges of the box, forming this adorable tiny little box. 
Next, we're going to start to form this little pup. So we'll add some tape runner to the back and we'll layer that rectangle to add color to the eyes, nose, and mouth. We're going to add a cute little spot over his eye and then we're going to add some color to his ears. I think it'd be really cute to have one of the ears one color and one of the ears another color. We're going to give him a little white belly marking there and then we're going to add the collar over top of that. And so we've got a red collar with a little gold foil tag. And then we can add some tape runner to the front of the box just like we did before. And we're going to layer our cute little pup face on and then we can add the legs to the sides of the box. Now for this guy we're going to be using the different style of tail and it looks super cute. He is just adorable. Now we had to make one more pup with the little different style of the paws in the front. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up this die. And what you do is you line up the paws at the very bottom of the face and you center it, run it through the die cut machine, and you'll have these cute, perfect little paws at the front of the dog. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to be die cutting our tiny gift box. We're going to be folding along the score lines, adding our tape, and then building the box. Even though this guy has the little paws, you can still use that rectangle to add color to the eyes, nose, and mouth on this pup. And on this guy, we're gonna do another different style. We're gonna be using the two large spots over both eyes, which looks absolutely adorable. And we're gonna be using some gray for that. We're gonna add the ears in a darker shade of gray and then add the cute little bow, which is just adorable. Now we can add some tape runner to the back of this piece and we're gonna layer it over the front of the box. Now you'll see because we die cut those paws, they have those cute little folds in them and you can tuck different things inside. So I love that we have the bone and the ball in this set, but I also think it would be really, really cute to tuck a little heart in. I think that would be absolutely adorable. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and stick with the ball and then we're gonna add that adorable little fluffy tail and the legs on the side of the box too. And now our third dog box is all done. And here is a comparison on how these little boxes turn out. And I love that you can get so many different styles so that you can really customize these boxes to your recipient's little pup that they may have, or maybe a dog that they love, or maybe to look like a cartoon dog or anything like that. I just think these guys are so cute and such a fun way to present a little treat or a gift card too. I think that's really awesome. And next up, Shari is gonna wow us with a really cute way to use this die on a front of a card. So take it away, Shari. So I'm going to be using the new Tiny Gift Box dog add-on to create a card. And I'm starting out with white paper for all of my pieces because I'm going to be using my Copic markers to color my little dog. I'm cutting out the little paws in the body of the dog here. So I'm just lining that up and I'll hold that in place with some washi tape. And I tried to keep my pieces in my negative spaces of my piece of paper to color them, but it didn't really work out quite so well. So you'll see that I kind of abandoned that here. Now this piece is just the piece that layers behind the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So I'm just col coloring it all black. You could use a piece of black cardstock. And then this is the little muzzle that layers over the nose and the mouth. I'm coloring that brown. I'm trying to color my dog like my little puppy scout. So for the little ears, I'm putting a little bit of brown right on the edge because she has brown kind of on the inside and it sort of peeks out around the edge of her ears. And she is black and tan, so I'm gonna go in with a warm gray for all the black areas. So I'm just coloring the rest of the ear with that W5 marker. Now I'll just set those pieces aside. I'm gonna go ahead and color her whole tail is black. And then for the body, this is why I cut the little paws. Her paws are brown. So this gave me the opportunity to show a little bit more detail by coloring the brown of her paws. She also has these little brown dots over her eyes. So I've just colored that brown. And of course her muzzle has some brown, but since I colored that die cut piece, I don't need to worry about coloring that on the body of the dog. Then I can go in, I'm using a W7 here to color all the black areas of her body. And I'm just using the edge of this piece of paper to kind of protect the brown paws while I color around the die cut edge of the paws. Then I'm going to fill in the rest of this and then carefully outline around those little dots above her eyes. 
And again, I colored the ears and I'm going to layer those die cuts over it so I don't need to worry about the ears. I actually probably didn't need to color them at all, but I'm just coloring this whole piece. And I'm going over it again just to darken it up and smooth out any marker lines that I have. I do think that coloring it with a Copic marker like this does give it some texture. Now to start to assemble my pieces together. So I've got that black piece that I colored. I'm just layering that behind the eyes and the mouth. And then I'm going to do something here in a little bit to kind of enhance that. Now I can layer those ears with the little brown details on the edge. And this also gives it some 3D effect because it's two pieces of paper on the ears. And then I can layer on that little brown muzzle. So here is my cute little scout dog. And then I'm using a black glaze pen and I'm just filling in the eyes so they have that nice shiny black look. And I actually went later on and did the same thing with the nose and the mouth so that it stood out a little bit. Now I'm using my white gel pen because Scout has this cute little white spot on her chest. So I'm just adding that little detail as well with my white gel pen. I also die cut the little tennis ball so I'm just going to color that with a bright yellow. And then you can see I also have the bone, which I don't need to color at all because it's all cut out of that white cardstock. Now I've cut the stitched ripple backdrop. This is going to layer onto my card base and give me some stitch detail on the outside edge of the card because I'm going to create a smaller panel out of pattern paper where my dog is going to go. So I've got some spiffy speckles blue and green and I've cut that with a stitched rectangle. I also have some all the dots paper and then some guava paper that I've cut my build a tent from. So I'm gonna assemble that and my little dog's gonna be sitting in front of a tent. Now before I cut those things and assemble, I'm just putting my sentiment at the bottom this is going to be a birthday card just because birthday cards seem to be something that I'm always lacking, but it could definitely be any sentiment that you want. So I'm just stamping that on the bottom, and this will give me a good idea of my placement for everything. I'm going to go ahead and put that solid piece of cardstock of my tent onto the dot one. So I've got this really fun polka dot tent. And that will allow me to put my pieces and figure out my placement so that I can cut the top edge of my green and make my grass. So I'll just hold that in place with some washi tape. And now I can glue my grass along the bottom of the blue Spiffy Speckles panel. Now I didn't put any glue right behind the blades of grass because I'm going to tuck my tent behind there so that you see the grass. Otherwise I don't think you would see the grass very much. It would get covered up by all the elements that I'm putting in front of it. And I wanted to add some interest to the sky. So I'm using the Critter Chatter stamp set. I'm using the dog sentiments in here, which say wolf and bow wow and bark. And I'm just stamping those in some Moonstone ink onto that blue spiffy speckles and it gives you this really fun tone on tone and it's almost like making a really fun custom pattern paper with the dog words on it. I've added some foam tape all over the back of this panel. And I decided I wanted to kind of add those words and have them spill over onto this background. So before I stick that down, you can see I just set it aside. I'm using those same stamps and that same Moonstone ink and I'm just going to add some around. So I'm just laying my panel there upside down obviously because I've already removed the liner tape from the foam. And that's just so I can see how these words look at peeking out from behind the panel. I'm not going to completely cover this. I'm kind of doing sort of the four corners. But I just think this adds some extra interest to that card background. 
So I'm going to go ahead and stick that panel down now that I'm happy with those stamped words on the card base. And then I also added some foam tape to my little dog. And as I said before, I did go in and add some of that black glaze pin to the nose and the mouth so it stands out just a bit more. And then I can also add her tail. And now I'm going to add the little accessories, which is that tennis ball that I colored in that bright yellow color. And then I'm going to add some foam tape or foam squares to the back of the bone. So all that stuff's popped up just like the little dog. And here is my finished card. I think it's really cute with that critter chatter in the background. And I love that shiny nose and eyes that my little dog has. Oh my goodness, Shari, this card is just too cute. I absolutely love it. And next up, we have some incredible projects by the design team. And first up, Elena made a little quintet of pups, and they are so sweet. I love how she added spots with her markers. Callie was so clever, and she added the tiny gift box dog to the front of the scallop treat box doghouse add-on. And these two are a perfect match together. Megan blew me away with her platform pop-up card. Here you can see it folded in the envelope. And then the big surprise when you push up from the bottom and create your 3D card is this adorable little scene. She actually used the top of the barn to create a doghouse. Oh, I love this card so much. Speaking of super creative, Leticia used our fruit basket, added some pattern paper, and turned it into a little dog bed for her cute pups. I love this idea. I love that Grace used this little dog on a front of a card and the way she layered the tail behind is so sweet. Adding those little balloons make it the perfect birthday card and I love that she did this in two different color schemes with all these cute little different styles of dogs. This little box by Kara is so sweet and by adding the inking to the box it gives it so much dimension. Here Mindy was inspired by Snoopy to make this adorable card. I, I love it so much it just makes me smile. These little boxes by Lynette are so sweet. I love how she layered the grays and browns together. It looks awesome. And then Maureen was inspired to make this super cute card. And I love the pun of sending pugs in smiles. So we cannot wait to see what you guys do with this die set. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.